What's up guys? It's me, Sir Ernest, and today I'm going to introduce to you the vector derivatives gradient, divergence, curl, and the Laplacian in spherical coordinate system. So this is just a quick uh, rundown of the vector derivatives. Okay, recall that the vector derivatives in Cartesian coordinate system is rooted from the expression of your uh, vector uh, differential operator del and this is equal to uh, x hat times uh, times the partial derivative with respect to x plus y hat times the partial derivative with respect to y plus z hat times the partial derivative with respect to z and then from here we can multiply it or uh, apply it to a let's say to a scalar put uh, scalar field t we can also take the dot product of that vector operator with some vector a using the dot product as well as the cross product and we can also take the uh, the the laplacian of your scalar potential Okay, so this is what we call the gradient. We call this the divergence. And we call this the curl. And this is the Laplacian. Okay, again, we're not going to call this del T, but we're going to get, call this the gradient of T. We're not going to call this the del dot A, but we're going to call call this the divergence of A, del cross A uh, will be called the curl of A, and del squared T, we call this the Laplacian of T. Now, in spherical, coordinates, the gradient of a vector of a scalar potential T is given by this equation the partial derivative of t with respect to r r hat plus 1 over r times the partial derivative of t with respect to phi phi hat plus 1 over r sine theta times the partial derivative of t with respect to phi phi hat on the other hand the divergence of a vector potent of a vector field let's say a vector field v okay is given by 1 over r squared times the partial derivative with respect to r of the product of r squared times the r component of your v plus 1 over r sine theta times the derivative with respect to theta of the product of sine theta times the theta component of V and lastly that's plus 1 over sine theta times the partial derivative of the phi component of phi of V with respect to V. So here we define the vec the scalar field and the vector field V okay in terms of the components of your in spherical coordinate system. Okay. Uh, the curl on the other hand is a bit complicated and it's given by 1 over r sine theta times uh, partial derivative with respect to phi times sine theta v phi minus derivative of v phi uh, v theta with respect to phi, phi r hat plus 1 over r times 1, 1 over sine theta derivative of v r with respect to 
minus y the derivative of r of r uh, derivative with respect to r of r v phi theta hat and the last component is 1 over r times 1 uh, derivative with respect to r of r v theta minus derivative of vr with respect to theta v hat okay so here as i mentioned before v is defined by vr r hat plus v theta theta hat plus v phi phi hat okay now to complete the cast we can define the Laplacian to be of t to be 1 over r squared times derivative with respect to r of r squared times derivative of t with respect to r plus 1 over r squared sine theta times the derivative with respect to theta of sine theta times uh, the derivative of t with respect to theta plus 1 over r squared sine squared theta times the second derivative of t with respect to t hat. Okay, because this uh, video is just a review of this. Okay, because I expect that you already uh, know this or learned this in your vector uh, analysis class. Okay, so we're not going to the details on how the gradient of t, the divergence of v, the curl of v, and the Laplacian of t are derived. It's important just to know that using these components or using the uh, when you use these uh, derivatives okay it's important to know the nature of your potential or your scalar and vector fields so for example if you want to get the curl of v for example and let's say uh, vr and v theta is missing so that means v is only a function is only uh, ha only has one component and that component is along the theta component so that means all the terms with v r and v theta will easily vanish and then it will now depend on how the, the remaining component uh, uh, depends on which uh, uh, coordinate r theta or v okay so that's it that's the summary of the vector derivatives in spherical coordinate system okay so i hope you learned something today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye